when you let your moss pole dry out, will the roots die or will they be resurrected when you moisten the moss pole again? They'll die. Again, just I love to explain to people that the moss pole is just a vertical extension of your potting medium. If you grow a plant and that potting medium of your plant can fully dry out, then you water it and your plant is going to be happy, then you can apply the same principle to your moss pole. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand why you would want to let any of your stuff dry out. I think it's one of these myths, right? Because most people struggle with overwatering. Mm. So to come that, it's easier to tell people just let the plant dry out. Mm. They, they don't mind drying out between waterings. And yes, they mind drying out between waterings less than they would mind being dragged, like drowning in water, for sure. So I think it's just one of these things that you're told when you first start with plants because it's the number one thing that's going to probably prevent you from killing your plant. Mm -hmm. But once you start understanding plants a little bit better, and hopefully you do by the time you get into your moss holes, once you get your wish list plants, you know, <laughs> hopefully you've gotten a bit of experience already. So I think by now we don't need to listen to those like, myths. pure beginners. Can actually go a step uh, uh, like we can advance a little bit and really understand what the roots mm -hmm, want mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, i would let them dry out completely because what happens is if the moss pole dries and then the roots dry and then you rewater it the roots can't actually absorb it and they're actually gonna rot, rot. so that's really really common way of getting root rot is letting it dry out completely mm -hmm and then watering it and then it's like oh my god i can't handle all this water and it's just gonna die like that it makes watering the moss pole so much more work and so much messier mm -hmm. you're gonna have an easier time watering it let's say three times a week but yeah. just watering it a little bit consistently keep it moist then watering it once a week fully and you know i'm making a mess yeah. like you're actually gonna save time if you water before they're fully dry that's right and i think we're talking probably about people who don't have 40 moss poles in their home. And if you've got three, four, five, it's really relatively easy to stay on top of. Like you say, if you're doing it consistently, then you shouldn't get to that point. But you know, I mean, I know I have had my moss poles be crunchy a few times and no, those roots do not regenerate. They're gone. Your plant will then have to start getting new roots and you're really setting your plant back and as you know Aunt said you're, you're risking root rot and all the rest of that your plant probably won't die you know unless you really let it be dry for such a long time but you're not going to get the results that you were looking for with that kind of care we also got to set kind of the expectation and i think with this whole q a we're not trying to get people to stop killing their plants i think we're really trying to optimize growth mm. right i mean there's two things there's just pure survival and then there's thriving thriving if you just so your plants to survive i reckon most of the things that we do over here are over here but yeah. I want to most people probably want to bring out the best in their plants. And yes. if you want to bring out the best in your plants, you've got to optimize the potential that they've got, and then you've got to realize that potential. So that's why we're talking about all of these things and kind of going a little bit more, you know, Deeper. intense. Because we actually want to get the best out of them. I love the word optimize. That's, that's it, that's exactly it. 